Okay, we're going to do a quick overview of the degrees and the certificates that you can earn in the Landscape and Nursery Technology and the Landscape Architecture Departments at Southwestern College. What I'll present today is the current offerings. We've had different ones previously and we will have different ones in the future, but this is what the program looks like as of today. In general, there are three types of awards that I would like to uh, call your attention to. Um, we're a community college, which is a two-year higher education, and the standard degree that people are awarded is the associate degree. And you can see uh, there are two other types. One is the associate degree for transfer, and then we have something called a certificate of achievement. Okay, so when we're thinking about what award or degree certificate is right for you, we want you to think first of all about your outcome. What is your goal? Where do you want to end up? And you may not know. So you may choose to take a few courses with us first and once you decide that you really like it, and you may want to do this as a profession. Uh, here's kind of the general pathway options that exist for you here at Southwestern College. Number one, you may decide that you want to earn a four-year degree in horticulture or plant science. And so we can help you to transfer to a four-year institution. Whether or not you want to go to a four-year institution depends on a few things. Uh, a bachelor's degree at a university is worth having in and of itself, but also uh, if you're interested in research or learning in greater detail some of the science, if you're interested in soil science, plant science, developing uh, new types of plants, or if you have your eye on a specific program, uh, you will be looking to transfer. Next, we have the landscape architecture route, and our degree is a good degree to take if you are looking to, again, transfer to get a degree in landscape architecture, which is often a good idea, or if you already have a higher education, like a bachelor's degree, for instance, you can earn our degree and easily uh, apply that towards state licensure. So you don't necessarily need to move on from us and keep doing college. You can potentially earn landscape architecture, associate in science, and go straight into uh, the pathway to earn your California Landscape Architects license. And then finally, I put the uh, symbol here to indicate we've got the hands-on. So uh, the previous two pathways are typically a little bit more academic. And it's not to say that landscape architects don't get out into the field, but the majority of your day will be spent uh, typically behind a desk or a computer and you'll be working on designing plans and coordinating with the uh, contractors that are involved in installing new landscapes and typically commercial landscapes. But if you're interested in working hands-on, then we've got our third pathway. And this includes all of our hands-on horticultural uh, opportunities, whether you're talking about nursery uh, landscape contracting and installation, floral design and floristry goes in this category as well. And so really you have three general paths. Are you looking to transfer to a four-year? Are you looking to uh, obtain a landscape architect's license? Or all the others, are you looking to just get a job or get started in horticulture? That includes starting your own business as well. Our 
associate in science for transfer is called plant science. It actually is still in development, but it should be available soon. And the AST is what we call a degree with a guarantee. Because if you earn this, you are guaranteed admission at the CSU level. So the Cal State University level. And for the purposes of horticulture, you're looking primarily at Cal Poly Pomona which is our closest one, but there's also a Cal Poly at San Luis Obispo, and then Cal State University Fresno and Cal State University Chico are some of the primary uh, transfer opportunities. The UC system does not have the degree with guarantee, but they do recognize the AST as something that gets you in with priority and very likely you can transfer with a junior level transfer even to a UC school. And there are several options within the University of California system, but UC Davis is the primary one that people attend for horticulture and agriculture. For landscape architecture, we have our landscape architecture AS, and that is one of six accredited associate degrees in the state of California. There are five other community colleges you can go to and earn an AS and count that towards your state licensure. But we do typically recommend that you actually transfer with this AS. And again, you can head on up to Cal Poly Pomona. We do have some local opportunities as well, depending on your goals. And if you already have a four-year degree, especially in something like urban planning, then this Landscape Architecture AS can very well be all you need in order to get you prepped and ready for state licensure. Everybody else is encouraged to sign up for the Environmental Horticulture Associate in Science. And this is a brand new degree which is actually replacing several degrees within our program. And this degree is designed to be easily attainable and very flexible. So you can customize it and take the courses that you think are most important and most relevant for you. All of our degrees are designed to be attainable within two years or four semesters. We assume that you are a full-time student and we assume that you are taking 15 units as a full-time student. And we also are assuming that a student is college ready, so meaning they do not need to take any of the prerequisites or remedial coursework to help them get up to a college level. If you are working full-time, uh, it's not recommended that you also try to be a full-time student Many students do well if they take one or two classes at a time. But if you're on the fast track and you really want to get in and get out, then it is possible to earn each and every one of these degrees within four semesters. Everybody, no matter which degree pathway you are pursuing, will be required to take a set of core courses. So if you don't know what degree or award you're interested in pursuing, a good place to start could be with the core courses. And the core courses include LNT 100, which is Plant and Horticultural Science, LNT 134, which is Introduction to Soil Science, and then our Plant Identification Courses, which is LNT 151 and LNT 152. You don't need to take them first, but it's a good place to start because they apply to all degrees. These courses are what is called CID approved, meaning that once you earn a successful grade in any of our core courses, then those can be applied to transfer credit at any university in California. Sometimes you take, for instance, a soils class and it may count as units later 
toward a university, but our soils class counts towards your requirement of taking a soils course. So if you take it at Southwestern, you won't need to take it again when you transfer. Along the way of earning your degree, you can earn what's called a Certificate of Achievement. The intention is for the Certificate of Achievement to be something that allows for a little bit greater emphasis in a specific area. So for example, landscape architecture, we have a Certificate of Achievement that can be earned on the way toward an associate degree. And right now they look very similar. So if you only wanna take the landscape architecture classes, you can get your certificate. If you wanna get the associate degree, you will need to take your general education. And in the environmental horticulture associate, we have three possible certificates that count toward your associate degree. You can earn a certificate in floral design, golf and sports turf management, or retail nursery and plant production. The idea is the courses you take toward those certificates will count toward your degree in environmental horticulture. You could potentially take courses in all three of those categories but you may not necessarily earn all of the requirements to gain a certificate of achievement as well as an associate in science. So the way you can think about it is that if you earn the environmental horticulture degree and along the way you, you satisfy the certificate requirements for one of those three categories, then you can tell your future employers that you have a degree in horticulture with an emphasis in floral design, in sports turf management, or in plant production. The plant science degree for transfer does not really cater to a certificate of achievement, although you can easily earn one along the way. And that's partly because the plant science degree has some, uh, some more rigorous requirements such as uh, chemistry courses and statistics courses that you should focus on before you look to some of these other electives within our discipline. All along the way, in order to earn an associate degree, you need to have general education units. Some of our courses do count toward your general education requirements but you will need to take others that include humanities and science and math and English requirements. We are working on recommendations for general education. So if you want to know which gen ed courses to take, we can let you know. And you can also be taking these throughout your time at Southwestern if you're on that two year fast track. You may need to uh, take some gen eds every semester so that you can get up to your 15 units and that you can earn your award within two years. The total unit requirement for an associate degree is 60 units. And so there are courses you must take within our discipline to satisfy the degree requirements, including the core courses and there are 20 units of gen ed that you must take, but then you may find you have additional room to take whatever classes you want just to get you up to those 60 units. And so you can take courses within our discipline or you could choose to look around the catalog and find something that is relevant to you. There are some steps that you should be aware of so that you can uh, sign up for these awards efficiently and on time. First is an orientation. Uh, you can do this orientation online by going to the Southwestern College website and searching on the website for orientation. And this will allow you to become eligible for priority registration. And you will also be uh, alerted to different resources such as financial aid, tutoring, and important locations on campus 
and the types of programs available to you. The next step is to make sure your assessments are taken care of. And so typically students are asked to take an assessment test in English, writing, and math prior to enrolling in any courses. Uh, you can either supply test scores from a California community college that uh, offered uh, an assessment test. Those test scores must be recent, taken within the last three years. So you can take that at Southwestern College or you can have taken that at another school. Or if you have a transcript from an accredited college or university that shows you've completed certain math or English assessment coursework with a passing grade, then you can have your transcript be the thing that uh, makes it so you do not need to take the assessment tests. The final initial step is to develop a student education plan, which is known as an SEP. And this will be a semester by semester layout of all the courses you need to be taking while at Southwestern College. You can create this document online or during a counseling session. And counselors can help you to identify the general education requirements for you based on your desired outcome, any major preparation, prerequisite courses, and graduation requirements. Additionally, a student education plan that is declared for the major you are pursuing is often a requirement for scholarships. So we have a lot of scholarship opportunities at Southwestern College and we have many within the horticultural fields but unless you have a student education plan that references one of our horticulture pathways, oftentimes you are not considered eligible for the horticulture scholarships. When it comes time to actually earn your award, let's say you've taken all the classes or you are getting close to having completed all of the classes, then it's time to start thinking about uh, graduation. So the school recommends that if you have 45 or more units, then you should see a counselor for a graduation review. And this can help to make sure you have everything you need taken care of and that you are in fact ready to go. There may oftentimes be a small requirement that you have overlooked and you don't wanna be caught by surprise. If you are looking to transfer, whether it's the Cal State University or the University of California system, they each have separate requirements for the types of general education courses that you should take. So some GE classes that count at a CSU do not count at a UC and vice versa. And so in order to guarantee that the courses you have taken will in fact transfer to your desired institution, uh, you can get something which is referred to as a certification. So the Gerber or the IGETIC uh, certification. And those are just acronyms that are referring to the general education requirements at each of the institutions. Students do not automatically receive a degree or certificate upon completion of all the program requirements. Instead, you must submit a petition to begin the evaluation process for awarding your degree or certificate. The school is interested in having these awards automatically applied so it makes it easier for the student. And all you have to do is take the classes and once you've earned it, you get the degree. But one of the problems is that sometimes financial aid requires uh, that you be enrolled and you may be on a pathway to earn a specific degree but you don't have all the courses that you need and you're waiting for the class to be offered and on the way you take some other courses and let's say you satisfy a requirement for some certificate in another discipline uh, we wouldn't want the school to auto award something and then now you are ineligible for priority enrollment, for financial aid, or for earning a degree with 
landscape and nursery technology. So we still don't have auto awarding of degrees. When you're ready to earn your degree, you need to apply. And it's important that you do. A lot of students, they satisfy the coursework and the degree requirements, but they never submit the petition to get the degree. And then the school looks at me and says, Mark, why do you have so many dropouts? And I say, they're not dropping out, they're successful. Uh, they're going on and getting jobs, so that's the goal. But if you take the extra step to earn the award, two things. One, it can never be taken away from you. So even if degree requirements change in the future, you will have earned that degree. It's always worth it to get it. And second, it helps our program by showing the work that we're actually doing in the number of people we're teaching and the number of people who are satisfying degree requ requirements. Uh, the last thing to note is that if you have attended any other college, uh, it is important that you mail your transcripts from that college to the admissions office. And this is even if the courses that you have taken previously are not going to be applied to anything you're doing at Southwestern College, the school requires that you still send in your transcripts so that down the road, when they look to see if you've earned an award or not, they don't pull up some duplicate file from another university and cause confusion. So if you get your transcripts from a previous college sent over to Southwestern, you will be in the clear.